Well, it's not perfect, me machine, but it's still better than preseason. Do you miss seeing your old StarCraft buddies? Uh, you know, you gotta remember that I had few friends, many uh, nice, like, distant acquaintances, because we are basically competing against each other. Uh, so, uh, it's not like we were all buddies, but it's very fun to hang out because you share the same passion. Now we don't really anymore, you know, because we're playing different games. And it's not like we're his friends for life. There is a respect and a, uh, you know, an enjoyment and hanging out with each other. But it's not like we're all buddy-buddy. Basically, we want to kill each other on the battlefield in the game, right? So, yeah, there you go. If we could get Zul, that would be great. I don't really like the shield to W talent on Falstaff. But uh, I took it anyway last game because uh, it I helps to protect you. against Illy. You are moderately cool, smiley face. Thanks. I will fight to my last breath. You're not that bad yourself, Arabis. It is time. Is hunting killer really spell friend. damage or auto attack damage? Is on. It will ignore evasion crashes. So it's I guess it's spell damage. This realm needs me. I actually think it's spell damage. Trixler says, I feel like the beta build is more poke oriented anyway. Only dive if you can get the kill secured. I yeah, ready. it's it makes sense. You're you're creating summons, so let the summons do their work, do the work, right? So I'll take warrior here. Uh, damn, they got so ah oh, man. But I I hope Sonic can kill him sometimes. The question is, which one should I take? Maybe Leoric. Feeling Leoric here. What's the exact difference, asks Nakriel, between the Bruiser and the Siege Camp? Are they very different on different maps? Well, uh, first of all, if it's double Siege Giant or double uh, or quadruple Bruiser, those are always the same if they look the same. I'm not sure exactly what you're asking. Siege Giant can outrange forts, whereas Bruiser is mostly depletes ammunition and can mount a large minion wave assault, and they they have way more HP. And then like Fallen Shaman and Impalers just behave differently. Even the catapults are different. So try to ask a little bit more specific and I'll be able to answer. Yo, D. Johnson, thanks for subbing. <laughs> Welcome, man. Welcome to the club. When do you think Tracer is the best pick against? Uh, Tracer is great against skill shot mages. Kjalthas, Li Ming, Chromi, Jaina, Ready for action. She's best Eat against those, but she can path. work against something like Lunara as well. And she's also great with Tassadar on the team. This galaxy shall suffer. It's Leoric time again, guys. He got buffed! If you could change one thing in HOTS, what would you change? Every time you win a game, Locked you earn $250. But every time you lose a game, you have to tell uh, an embarrassing secret about Glory yourself. To the horde. Hey Grubby, could you show us your setup one day? With Maybe with a picture on Twitter sometime. I'm always curious of your setup. Maybe. But, you know, I would have to like... Clear up the, all the bottles and, you know, diapers and everything. But people are going to complain a lot when they lose games, I think. It's like, no, I'm not ready to share that childhood secret yet. Oh, by the way, hype. We might be in Diamond again soon. 
492. Is Monk a viable healer on a double bruiser team? Dude, I answered that already. Go watch the VOD and rewind five minutes. What's Greetings, up, friend. Thanks for the top tier entertainment. My pleasure, Vicat96. Welcome back. Then my life would be an open book. <laughs> Orwellians. Well, at least you could become a storyteller, right? Let me just ask you something. Have you guys ever seen me go to the restroom during a broadcast? So how would I not use divers? Oh yeah, master. Maybe I go to master. I've never been in master. I went from diamond to grandmaster. I thank you. Been a while since I've had a chance to watch. Work sucks. That new mic is quite large. Don't feel intimidated. It's just an audio capturing device. With a cardioid pattern. For picking up my voice while not picking up all kinds of rustling on the background. Coming a reanimation. Should be good. I'll oh, get it. The darkness grows stronger. Your lack of faith disturbs me. Your lack of faith disturbs me. How does it feel, the new buff Leoric? I'll let you know in 10 seconds when I take my first skeletal swing at a minion wave. I literally haven't played him for like a month, including or excluding new patch. I hope Valor goes hungering arrow build. Okay. Okay. You go to the solo lane, but you don't take healing. Good luck. I hope he's good. Immediately. Hello, Logan. Welcome back. Immediately. So I've been doing a lot of top lane first, and it, you almost always pay for it. See? I'm even thinking I shouldn't be doing this. I thank you. I'm sure at your LVL there is less toxic players, but from my history if someone demands to... Play a role in Drought, your team tries to work around their pick even if it makes no sense. To map Boar is a strong hero build. It's actually making me think to drop Draft. Yeah, well, that's a, that's a choice you can make, I guess. It's, uh, you know, it's a free world. It's a free will. Now all you'll have to do is, like, lever queue now and then. You may actually prefer that. The troubles of a MOBA, huh? Maybe you should just play uh, a solo game. Like uh, Abathur. <laughs> Wasn't talking about a different game. So Leor can kind of double lane, which is why they're letting me do that. You Note, by the way, that this goes without any explanation. Um, no one agreed on it verbally. Because we kind of recognize that Leor can play a role like this. And it shows us the team is pretty decent. Of course, I cannot outpush Zul actually. So I can't really do it as well as Zul. I'm gonna go Fealty or Hard and Bounce. Um, I think Fealty will be more attractive since I'm on double lane uh, soak duty. As you can see, I can't really double soak effectively. Like, Zul's just the better Leoric. Which is why they won in Diablo, right? Yes. Spoiler! 
Uh, everyone knows that the Nephilim beat the prime evils and the lesser evils, right? No mercy. No yeah, I got the globe! Thanks, dude! I like the way he talks, the orc. So isn't the Nephilim, really? Oh yeah, of course, he's Diablo 2. Oh wow, he, he's a crime fighter, that's what matters, right? Zul never faced Leoric. That is not true, actually. Leoric was in Diablo uh, 1. Wait, there was Necromancer in Diablo 1? Oh, fudge. Man, he missed the boat twice. Anyway, he's a crime fighter and that's what matters. You're either a nin ninja, teenage, hero, turtle, or you're not. Yeah, I barely played Dota 1. What do I take here? Paralyzing Rage? Pretty good against melee assassins. I try to take it against melees. Like warriors and assassins. Ghastly Reach? I try to take it against range damage, but they don't really have that many. Good matter. So I'm definitely not going to go for Ghastly Reach. I could go for uh, the Paralyzing. Lingering if I want it, but I don't think it's important. I could go for Osain Renewal, but I think it's weak. So I'll get Paralyzing Rage. Of course, Osain Renewal got a shadow buff since it's maximum life and he got a maximum life buff. Yeah, I should have liked to help the team with it, but uh, you know, there's there's waves to be cleared. We march. Now they can four man contest since they got a kill at the bottom really good. Sonic doing God's work again. Treason. For me, I just need to wave clear. I'm like an OCD cleaner here. I'm vacuuming, I'm vacuum cleaning the house every day, three times a day. That's what wave clear duty means yes, on Black Art Bay. Compulsive cleaning. And it, you know, it's a, it's a responsibility, but I happily do it. Someone's got to do it. House, house manly or What button do you use to bring up the manual aim when you're quick cast? Left clicking it. Or hovering over it. The no, my hatred. I'm finding fealty onto death very useful here to keep my mana and health up, as you can see. There is strength within you. Looks like you're I shall bring it. To it. Let this to ya. We march. Oh, did they pay this time? Kill all the traitors. Zul pushing is just better than Leoric. I'm slightly less gankable, I think. You know, since we're already 10, I'm just gonna go down there. Zul isn't, so maybe we get a nice 5v4 out of it. Do I want Entomb? I think so. It's pretty good against Thrall and Dunara. I'll get Entomb. We've got triple range damage dealers. Welcome to the arena, I knew they're gonna do that, but I don't really value my heroic that highly anyway. Well done. Service has its rewards. I gotta get back to work, guys. Good. I don't care about using a 50 second cooldown in Tomb, because basically I'm just gonna go back to Wave Clear. For the Eternal Empire. No, 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 it's not a waste if you don't expect any team fights here. No, my hatred. You know, it's all fun and games to laugh about it. I, I knew exactly what was going to happen. I just wanted them to use Dwarf Toss already and everything. No, my hatred. Let us move. I'll just do this one before I do the top. This one will die slightly faster. It's actually Zul that joined now. No. What a good map. <laughs> wow. It's funny, Zul was like double clearing over me and now I am clearing over him and he joined and it's like it's yes. everyone just four man bot. Yeah, you really gotta ban Zul if you don't want this kind of strange shenanigans. Welcome to the arena of 
This is a wa anti wave clear to him. No so that he misses some XP up no there. Absolution. What do you think about that? Probably the second best in Tomb of the game so far. Uh, we are so uh, annoying to each other, aren't we? You could have picked TLV. TLV ain't as good as Leoric. We needed a warrior. The only warrior we would have had would be uh, Olaf. Yes, my master. No, my Exciting master. game, right? Hey, at least we get to talk a lot. Why is Zul gang so rarely during early game when he always rotates? Isn't it really predictable? I know what you mean, man. It's a very funny and frustrating question. I'm gonna go for crushing hub. But the thing is, it always doesn't happen. So I've had to understand why, and I will explain you now. And it's because of the pressure on the map. That's basically why. Because you cannot just go kill Zul. It will not be... There's no net worth of killing Zul. When actually... How many people do you need to kill Zul? More than two. Because two people don't kill him. He turns on his shade. Oh, it's all five. He turns on shade, he walks back, he uses Rathma's blessing, so you need at least three people. What do you think is doing the other people? What are they doing? They're doing camps, they're paying, they're pushing another lane. And that is why he's an oppressive force. He needs a very big counter reaction. I didn't notice that there were five manning, or obviously I would have warned them earlier. Oh, you know what? I already have 30 gloves. Normally, you're expected to have the amount of globes double the amount of game minutes. That is pretty okay. But actually, I'm 30 globes at minute 10, so that's fantastic. That was nice. <laughs> it's funny that Zul left now. You have achieved greatness. We have achieved dankness. Come here, sweetie pie. Yes, my master. Too bad that stacks are limited, or I think I would be well on the way to a million billion. I would have like 60 globes by the end of this game. I don't know how many over globes I have already. That was probably the first best tomb of all three, don't you think? So now I have a choice. I can do the talent that gives me instant clear. Renewed swing. Don't need to auto. I can go consume vitality, which would make me a better tank. Unyielding despair, which gives me many Ws, which is more survivability in fights, and imposing the same. Now they have one auto attacker. They have about three auto attackers. Imposing is pretty good here. I'm thinking actually unyielding. Ah, oh, he's dead. He's so dead. Immediately. That's how you can apologize. Not like that a new bitch before. Beach. He's just baiting you in. I'm thinking imposing is good, but the talent I want is unyielding. Now my hatred. <laughs> so extreme. He wanted to have a UK alt on back on me. I will get uh, unyielding. Welcome to the arena. That uh, was probably the fourth, oh, the third best tomb of the game. Like better than this one, but worse than this one. 
Because the kill was already secured. Don't pay, let the bait, don't let the bait! <laughs> no unprotected. <laughs> he got tricked by uh he got tricked by the W that I had. No mercy. No mercy. Ah, pretty good for a bunch of land lovers. Oh, but that had to hurt. Yes. Do not wait for me. I'm thinking maybe Entomb should not be on quick cast. Even though I've been using it okay. Yes. But occasionally, I will want to press it just to aim. Crush all resistance. We should kill like a fort before we pay, actually. No mercy. No absolution. Like the top fort, but I don't think we're in a, like, a great position to uh, pick our pay times. I could have entombed him, but we don't want to. We want to. We don't want to do this right now. I must retreat. Seems we've reached an accord. Let's show your enemies. You're memeing a lot more recently. Any change in your diet? Oh, Vala, please. Your heart's. <gasps> no mercy. No absolution. I'm. Uh, I'm. N I never meme actually. I see. Must be rooted out. Just a few coins. Well, that sucks. Oops. Hope we can make it out of here. Undying has its rewards. This is it level 20. Um, I'll go Spectral Leech. Nice. Kill confirmed. We march. One of the best in tombs yet. Suffers no traitors. The way I see it, Leoric is already like a spooky skeleton that can't really die. So why would you go for Hardened Shield? That's not his design philosophy, you know. Just get bonus damage to make him more sticky and, 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 hurt, and hurtful. Be offensive, basically. 5% auto attack steal per hit. Like, it's just crazy. If you hit Murden with it, you get like 300 life when he's an avatar per hit. Victory is near. Victory! They could be like sneak pain. What good is the this mercy for pleasure? <laughs> nope. No sneaky sneak. Okay, we paid. A useful skill. You may continue. Well done. Okay. Sure. <laughs> they forced it way too hard. 
been training. Well done. Bolting Service forward, Thrall. Kill confirmed. The core. Only Auric, no less. When I have Entomb, and that's his only escape. <laughs> Some bonus XP for Leorki. Hoppa, Lake it or. Excellent. Excellent. So, one Leoric, one win. He will be added to my 100% win rate hero the last 60 days. Together with Gazlo, Jaina. Who else? No absolution. Well done. Service has its reward. Service has its reward. This is like one of those terror chambers. It's just like the entombment and the laser in front. Like, you can either be imprisoned forever or you come out in two parts. So, Gerby, what do you think about Leoric now? Well, I think that I am a Leoric main now. You fight if you need to fight. There was no need to fight, so I wouldn't go in. Exactly. They ran forward. We already paid. So why are they, why are they forcing? With bolt initiation, no less. Um, well, loads of siege damage. He's a second Zul when Zul is already taken. You're, he's a tank when you need a tank. My alternative pick could have been Johanna. But I think it was better uh, Leoric. Because uh, Leoric can make a getaway better. And I suck with Johanna. Please show your gold, Grubby. Sure. 158 now. And my build this game was, since you guys haven't seen Leoric in a while, reanimation, fealty, that's for the wave clear, otherwise it would probably go hard and bones. A paralyzing rage, because they have Thrall, Zul, and Murden and Karazim. Four melee, and they all rely on mobility to survive. Unlike someone, let's say, Anubarak. Uh, he will burrow charge out if you, if you queue him. I guess Murden can also jump out, but the other three, they don't have like a jump. So more slow is really good. And it's not a depreciating slow, like there are so many slow these days. And Tomb, uh, the double W to hit on one of their four melee targets, very easy. And it killed Murden many times. And then Spectral Leech, I just explained that. Should backdoor that keep, but we can just let the Punisher do it. Absolutely. I think I might not even go Orbital BFG this game. I think we need the damage. Focus tank. 